Camera two, hold on, welcome. All right guys, here is Super Saturday Session Breakdown. I'm sorry this is coming a little bit later than I usually do. Uh, I did way too much yesterday, got way too much done, and also at the same time, not enough done. So we're here now, so I'm talking to everyone on live who did not see this yesterday. We're posting it this morning, so good morning to you guys. Thank you YouTube for checking in. Here we go, Super Saturday Session. So everything in red was done in session one. Uh, everything in purple was done on session two. Yesterday, I got in the gym a little bit earlier because my mom had a competition. Shout out to Mama Beaks, love you. She went to the Charm City Throwdown and so I broke up my training, so I got my morning session in, did a couple pieces there, went to Charm City Throwdown, checked out some apartments with my fiance, and then back into the gym to finish everything on this side. So we're gonna go down uh, these six, seven components, um, how you can break them down into your own training, whether or not you wanna try one side or the other, or pick what you like and incorporate that into your training the next week or leading up to whatever you want to for training. So, number one, the first thing we did in the morning was a complex where we're pausing, not pausing, but we're doing performing the hang snatch and the hang clean above the knee, at the knee, and below the knee. And then for the clean and jerk, after that third clean, we're going to jerk overhead. Um, this is not supposed to be like a one room attempt. This is supposed to be moving really, really well, pushing into those moderate percentages. I think here I built up into the 83rd percent of my one RM. So we're going to that moderate to heavy range. I would suggest going between 75 and 80. I was feeling really good on the day, so I pushed it just a little bit more into that 83rd percent of my one RM for my snatch and then I believe my clean was 79% or 78%. So a little bit less, um, but still hitting pretty solid numbers overall. Now, um, with these complexes, you can choose to do one or both. Personally, I like both because I pretty much turned it into a whole integrated workout in itself, just along from the Metcon and the accessories. So I took a lot of time to warm up properly so I can hit my snatch, hit my cleans, and make sure everything's firing there. Then in the Metcon, uh, this comes from Training Think Tank. I believe this is the Throwdown Workout 109. I think it's 107. Probably, I think it's 107. Um, an aggressive time cap of 14 minutes, but you will complete, or try to complete, three rounds of 24 cal, 18 cal for ladies, echo bike, then 12 bar muscle ups, three rounds of that, there's a forced one minute rest. And then, after that minute rest, you're gonna go into three rounds of again, 24 18 cal echo bike, and then 24 dual dumbbell front squats. And you're gonna try to finish that in 14 minutes. I did not get there, I got capped in the second round, uh, 10 front squats in. So, a couple takeaways from this. If you're looking for something to improve your gymnastics and you're trying to get your heart rate up, this is a great combo for that first half. In the second half, if you're not as fluent with positioning with a dumbbell, especially in that front rack, this again offers a very good um, workout because you're again in a uh, high capacity environment where you have to push the pace on a 24, 18 count echo bike, the breathing's heavy, how is your positioning, can you hold? And also too with the echo bike and squats, you're gonna be blowing up your legs. I did not expect to be doing singles, doubles, and triples where I'm just standing there with the dumbbells waiting for my legs to stop hurting as bad. Um, and definitely a weakness that I will be addressing in the future weeks because if this ever came up in a workout, it would have not gone so well. So thank you Training Think Tank for throwing this out there, testing my body, and seeing where I need to fill in some holes for the future. So again, Great gymnastics here, a lot of legs there. So if that's something that you're interested in into your training, definitely plug it in. And scaling it back to, if you don't have bar muscle ups, you're not as comfortable, you can scale it back to eight reps or you can go um, eight kipping pull-ups, um, whether it's chest of bar or regular, just to keep the workout moving so you're not getting hung up on the bar muscle up. And then for the dual dumbbell front squats, I forgot to mention that they are 50s for the guys, 35s for the ladies. And then just to finish off the session, just a little bit of accessory work. We had five sets. And keep in mind, this is the fifth week of building on, personally, my own GHDs, where we started at like 21, 22 reps. This week I picked the magical number, 29. Um, 
So that's 29 unbroken GHDs, and then we're supersetting that with 16 pistol squats. So in the previous weeks, I've supersetted this with GHDs and toes to bar, but since I did essentially what is a toe to bar kind of deal with the bar muscle up, doing 36 of those, I was like, okay, I've done enough core for today. I'll do some different accessories with that. Um, so we snuck in some pistol squats just to get some skill work in there and just really finish off and blow up the legs for this part of the session. So overall, including the warm up, including the workouts and the cool down, this was about two, two and a half hours. Now granted, I took a lot of time in between the complex and the Metcon, because like I said, the complex themselves took an hour and that was pretty much a workout in itself, just moving the barbell really, really well, making sure that I refueled properly and I warmed up really, really well for these Metcons. So, it seems like a lot time-wise, but because I took the proper precautions to warm up, today I'm feeling pretty good. My body's not all jacked up like it usually is after a clean and jerk and a bar muscle-up session. Uh, lats are feeling really strong, and I credit that to, again, warming up properly, cooling down properly. That's session one. In the middle here, we have the Charm City Throwdown, where I watched my mom and one of her good friends, who is a beast, compete and then again, looked at some apartments, and then back at the gym. So this is more strength oriented, strength piece here, a uh, little strong man work here, and then some bodybuilding to finish off session two. So if that's something that interests you and you don't wanna do conditioning or high level, well not really high level, but very intense, I call them high level gymnastics, this will be for you. So we started with a build to a heavy set of three back squats. Um, and in this piece, it's going to be nine total sets. Depending on how you're feeling, that first working set of your back squat is going to be between 65 and 70%. That's going to be for a set of three. And then you're going to take three sets to build up to around 80 to 85%. And this is just a normal back squat. There's no pause here. Just a normal heavy set of three. And within that, you can take, I did about 5% jumps. I started at 65, 70, 75, 80, and made those jumps to the 80, 85% range. I think I topped off at like 83, so it was about five, four to five percent each jump. And again, I was performing three reps each set. So if you're here, one set here, three sets, this is your fifth. And then once you build up to that 80, 85%, you're gonna take and you're gonna deconstruct, or not deconstruct, you're going to perform the three sets that you did building up, you're gonna perform that same weight coming down. So keep that in mind as you're pushing numbers so you're not super fatigued. So once you hit that 80, 85%, you're gonna strip off some weight, perform three more reps, strip off some weight, perform three more reps, strip off the weight, perform three more reps, and then one more time, strip off the weight so you're back to that 65, 70%. And that's gonna total again, nine, nine sets, of three reps, so there's some good back squat volume there. The focus for this is to move really, really well, engaging the core the whole time. If you saw some of my previous videos, I had a little bit of a breakdown when I went for my one RM. Uh, so we're just rebuilding the core here, making sure my movement patterns are correct. So again, coming into session two, a really, really long 40 minute warm up into my squats. So really making sure my body was prepped and it felt great throughout the duration of that lift. Now. I broke this up into two parts because you can pick one or the other or you can do both. But after that, I did some uh, single pause deadlifts. Again, focusing on not having my back break down and look like a black cat um, and having this really rounded, obtuse back. It's focusing on keeping my spine very neutral and keeping it strong and making sure that I'm loading the correct muscles, feeling it in my glutes and my hamstrings and not my lower back. And as a result, Again, I'm not super sore today. Like I'm sore, my body feels like bleh, but I'm not like achy and it hurts to bend over and turn and move. Because again, scaling back the weight, focusing a little bit more on technique, but still getting a really, really good stimulus from the pause and holding, right? So in this case, I found a percent, I didn't know what percent to build up to for the single deadlift, but I found in that 75 to 80% range, where I was moving really, really smooth, and I paused it just below the knee and then finishing it right up top and then coming down very controlled all while maintaining my core. And I did five repetitions at that weight. So I build up, add 15 to 20 pounds, build up, add 15 to 20 pounds. And again, found that 70 to 80% range and did five clean repetitions there. And then 
um, did just a couple of just singles without pausing, just feeling the difference that it made and how it was recruiting and using the correct muscles for the deadlift. So if that interests you, again, you can do the back squat and the deadlift, you can do just the back squat, you can do just the deadlift, whatever, excuse me, whatever suits you for that session and whatever time-wise fits into your training schedule. Now, the strongman work, because I had a rest between this session and this session, this felt almost too light. I was not gonna go um, add as much weight as I did, but I was feeling really, really good. So I ended up adding an extra 40 pounds to the yoke carry, an extra 10 pounds on the sled, and then the rest intervals were not as long. But 10 sets of this is still gonna take you a good 25, 30 minutes with a little bit of rest in between because it's about 30, 40 seconds per implement. And then if you took a minute rest in between, you're looking around three minutes set. So 30 minutes here, just strong weight work, man. Putting the weight on your back, doing a yoke carry 40 feet out, 40 feet back, and then supersetting that with a, a 40 foot out, 40 foot back sled push. So we're again, really embracing that core, making sure my back is nice and tight and I'm not rigid, but I'm structurally sound. My spine is lined up, we're good to go, we're moving well, loading up that nervous system a little bit. And then the sled push is just pure leg drive. Um, been trying to really increase the power of my squat the power of my deadlift, and a sled push is a great accessory tool to build said strength without overloading the joints too much and really does a great job of loading the muscles. So I highly recommend getting some sled work in. 10 sets there of 80 foot increments. If you don't have 40 feet, you can go 20 or you can go 10. You can just push it back and forth. Now granted, if you do a shorter distance, it's gonna require more to get the thing started and stopped, started and stopped. So adjust the weight accordingly as need be. It shouldn't be an impossible thing to do to move this kind of weight, but it should be challenging and it should hurt just a little bit. Lastly, we finish off the session with a little bit of bodybuilding, upper body focus with a little bit of more of an arm, uh, arm focus for the upper body. Not a whole lot of back, but just enough. So six sets and I supersetted ring rows ring dips. So I did all six there, and then I went into six sets of 15 behind the neck lat pull downs into um, a single dumbbell tricep extension overhead. So here we have, again, the back and buys, tries, and a little bit of chest. And then we had the back and buys again, but really emphasizing squeezing that low, uh, not lower back, the um, my lats and my traps and really getting a good contraction. The weight wasn't heavy here. And the tricep extension, full range of motion coming down and up, making sure that I am, again, very focused on the contraction of the muscle, slowed it down a bit, nice and smooth, got a great pump. And again, that's six sets, 10 ring rows, 10 ring dips, 15 lap pull downs, uh, and 15 tricep extensions. And this session, again, took about two, two and a half hours I took a really long time to warm up, make sure my body was prepped and ready. And once that happens and I'm fueling properly, I can jump from the next exercise um, to another. But again, I had to warm up well and then I cooled down real well, make sure my body, again, is getting the proper nutrition throughout the training, post-training, and then I'm cooling down and hydrating properly in order to, again, not feel too bad today. Surprisingly, the volume kept up pretty well. Um, had a good week of training. Hope you guys had a great week of training. And breaking this down, again, you can do one session here, one session there. If you wanted to, you could maybe switch the GHDs, accessories, the bodybuilding accessories, if that's something that interests you to go along with the muscle ups and a little bit of leg work here. Um, this is just a nice little upper body pump if that interests you. Hope you guys take some things um, from this board into your training. I hope it works well for you guys. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Subscribe. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you want me to keep doing these Super Saturday session breakdowns, I know on Instagram people are liking it on IGTV. Um, and the guys on YouTube, thank you guys for tuning in. Guys on live, thank you. Much love. Happy Sunday. Hope you guys are doing well. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Much love.